Okay, so what's up guys? I'm Pixel Sammy. Welcome to this newest video. So in this particular video, we are going to discuss this particular transition which Sam Colder used in his latest video. And I got the inspiration for making this particular transition by seeing the comment section. The comment section flooded with this particular transition in mind. All the people praised about this particular transition and I figured I must do a breakdown or how to do this particular effect in either Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro or any other softwares for that matter. So with that being said, leave a like, subscribe to this channel and comment down below because a like and a comment with a subscribe really makes a YouTuber stay. Trust me, it really does. And a little bit of support from you guys actually matters a lot. So with that being said, let's get started. So just seeing the comment section from Sam Colder's latest video, most of you guys thought this is a simple masking transition which takes a lot of time to work. But no, this is not a masking transition. This is basically more of a key out transition or a key in transition which Sam Colder is actually famous of, which is the famous Lima key transition. This is not a Lima key transition, but it is one variation of the same effect, which means that you guys will need to use the Lima key effect onto these particular clips. So just to demonstrate this particular effect, I'm going to use this particular stock clip. Now this particular stock clip doesn't have any kind of movement whatsoever. So I zoomed it in and added in a little bit of movement using the position tool and the keyframes and just smoothed it out using the curves. So this is my example shot, which I'm going to use for this particular effect. Now after that, I'm going to add in the Luma Cure effect, which is there in Final Cut Pro and in Premiere Pro, just drag and drop it onto this footage. Now by default, you are going to see some darker areas and some brighter areas. So you have to just remove the darker areas because I want to see which portions are actually keyed out. So I'm going to use a white layer below this particular layer. So I'm going to just create a white layer below this particular layer and keep it below this particular layer. And then after that, I'm going to see which portions are actually keyed out. And after that, I'm going to just play with the settings of the Luma key. And then after that, I'm going to see which portions are actually keyed out in the FS control panel in both Final Cut Pro and for Premiere Pro. And of course, you guys can definitely do this particular effect in After Effects as well. In After Effects, you are going to get a lot more smoothness in editing, but you guys can definitely do the same thing in Premiere Pro as well. So these are the settings which I use for my Luma key in this particular clip. These are already there in this particular screen, but you guys can definitely play with it and see which one fits around best for your clip because each and every clip varies a lot. So this particular settings might not work for you, but make sure to play around a little bit to get the desired result. So using the Luma key tool, I removed all the edges, all the areas from the sky, which is like this. Now you are going to notice while removing the sky, some portions of the flares of the wooden logs are also getting keyed out. Now you know to just move or solve this particular problem, you guys need to follow these particular steps. So what you guys need to do, just copy this layer on top of each other, copy the main layer on top of each other. And from the top layer, just remove all the key out effects and all. And just go to the FS control panel and type in mask in Final Cut Pro and drag the draw mask effect onto the clip. And in Premiere Pro, you guys can go to the opacity panel and just draw a mask from there. And after that, just make a rough mask around the flares. As this is a top layer which doesn't have any particular key in effect, so you guys will see the entire clip all together. So for this particular clip, just simply make a rough mask around the flares. Make as many points as you want because the more points, the more smoothness and more better this particular mask will be. After that, set a keyframe to the mask part in Premiere Pro and for Final Cut Pro, set a keyframe to the position and to the control points and then keep on going next frame to next frame to next frame and keep on updating the mask as long as the cure portion of the flares doesn't show. Make sure the flares which are keyed out because of the previous effect doesn't show in the final result. So after that, you guys are going to have two particular layers, the, the top layer which contains your masking of the flares and the below layer which contains your keyed out sky. So just combine both of them, nest them together. After that, you're going to see this particular result. So as you can see, the background is black. Yes, of course, remove the white layer also. You guys don't need to use the white layer anymore because you guys have already keyed out the layers. So just remove the white background, which I used before. After that, you're going to see a black background. So we are going to use my next clip, which is the clip I'm going to transition to in this particular area. So this particular clip is taken from Sam Colder's video because I just wanted to show an example using this particular clip only. I'm going to just drag the clip below this particular clip which I just compounded before and then after that I'm going to just go to the FS control panel and type in Gaussian blur, drag the Gaussian blur onto this clip 
set in keyframes in such a way that when the transition is just happening, the Gaussian blur is at its maximum and when the transition ends, the Gaussian blur sets back to zero. Because it actually makes sense because the second clip is in defocus mode and then while the transition ends, it slowly gets into focus. This is the reason we are using Gaussian blur into this particular area. Now one more thing which you can do to this particular effect is that you guys can definitely add motion blur to the first clip to make the transition a little bit more smoother and a little bit more seamless as well. So after that just add in a little bit of directional blur onto the clip in Final Cut Pro and in Premiere Pro you guys can import this particular clip in After Effects and add in motion blur and that is pretty much it. So with that being said, this is the final result without any sound effects or so and I just added a little bit of sound effects, a little bit of sounds, uh, ocean sound effect, a little bit of whoosh sound effect, wind sound effect, fire sound effect and all and then after that add in a proper background of music. This is the final result. So thank you so much guys, I hope you guys like this particular video. This was not an easy effort to make, trust me it actually takes a lot of time to make this particular key in effect happen and it will take you some time to do the masking as well. So make sure to take your own time in doing this because the more time you take in editing this, the better and more flawless this particular effect will be. I cannot express how many days time color used to make this particular effect, but the hard work actually resulted in a really smooth transition, which most of you actually praised a lot. So I hope you guys who are actually making this effect, really actually work hard to make this particular effect happen. And trust me, you guys will nail it. So with that being said, thank you so much guys. If you guys made this particular effort using my tutorial, make sure to tag me on Instagram. I am targeting to hit 10k followers on Instagram as well. So you guys can support me by just following the link in the description and just giving me a follow. A little bit of support actually matters a lot. So drop a like, subscribe to this channel and comment down below of what you guys think of this particular video, or kind of what kind of videos you guys want to see next. And with that being said, this is Mr. Sammy and I'll be back with another video soon. Peace out.